is you're asked to find the slope of the line between two points. So we're given 5, negative 7, and negative 3, negative 9. And any time you're given two points and asked to find the slope, use the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we write down our coordinates, and these are just from above. And so what I want you to notice now is that we've got to assign variables to these coordinates. And so we're going to let this be our second coordinate. So that means that y2 is negative 9, y1 then is negative 7. And since this is y2, then the negative 3 has to be our x2. And since this is y1, our x1 has to be 5. So we sub this into our equation. So we're going to sub in for y2 and y1. So it's minus a negative 9, take away, or minus negative 7. And negative 3, take away 5. And make sure you sub in correctly. So negative 9, take away negative 7, is just negative 2. And negative 3, take away 5, is negative 8. And so watch your signs when you're working with your integers here. And this simplifies the negatives cancel out to become positive, And 2 over 8 reduces to one quarter. And so the slope of the line is 104, 1 over 4 for the line between 5, negative 7, and negative 3, negative 9. So now we're going to quickly verify the solution here using a piece of graphing software. So we're going to plot the points 5, negative 7. So we go over to 5, down to negative 7, plot our point. And so there it is. And then negative 3, down to negative 9, plot that point. And now what we can do is draw a line between the two points. And the slope between these two points is we go up 2 and over 8. All right, so the slope is 2 over 8, rise of 2, run of 8. But then that reduces to 1 over 4 because going up 1 and over 4, if you do that twice, then you've gone up 2 and over 8. So 2 over 8 and 1 over 4 have the same slope because those are equivalent fractions.